Hello everyone, good morning. Would you believe September is almost half over? It is, it's almost half over. And today I'm doing an Etsy share. Finish these two beautiful journals. You took this ride with me. We created and here they are ready to go into my shop so that we can start a new project. Uh, Halloween, one is Halloween, one is Christmas. I guess we'll just start with Halloween because it comes first. So let's put this one aside. And here she is. I don't know. I'm looking for my ruler because I need to obviously measure it. I don't know if there'll be another Halloween uh, journal. Probably not. It is time to move on to fall. I had a great time uh, creating this one once again. I used Artie Mays's Digitals. And uh, just like I did to the, in the, in the uh, last one. And um, yeah, I don't even want to say goodbye to Halloween yet. I feel like we really haven't even started. She is a chunky, chunky one. But this is kind of a flip-flop journal. But it is not a four-signature journal. It is a two-signature journal measuring a little over eight, maybe eight and a half by, I'm gonna say four. That's probably pretty good. And I happened to find this ribbon in my stash. Love this. It could be fall, it could be Halloween. Uh, I'm just grateful that it was long enough to go around because I think it's pretty as can be. I included with this journal isn't that just so pretty? Four um, of the envelopes, and each envelope does have a matching tag inside. I'll take one out so that you can see what that looks like. Just like that, and it has coffee tea dyed paper on the back. So those really, really cute. And then one of the, oh, it's got glitter on it. Look at that, guys. <laughs> from the Christmas book, but it, you know, I almost wish I had sparkles in that because I like the look of it. So there is a CD case with a CD tag. So there is the front of the CD case. This is the tag. And when you open it up, I put some washi tape on the back and there you have a little journal spot really cute really really cute absolutely in love with Andrea's kit but it's time to say goodbye even if I do another Halloween journal this year I will be moving on so this is the cover to skull I put a uh, a poison sticker at the top, and throughout this journal, you will see Nouveau Glaze, which is the shininess there. So pulling back the back cover, there is a pocket. A lot of you will be familiar with this because we did do this together. Tickets, I mean, you can't go wrong. Aren't they adorable? So tickets, five tickets in this front page. Vintage um, appetizer cookbook page vintage music page and then that brings us to a second pocket here look at them <gasps> aren't they the coolest ever look at that just super super cool love those just love the look of those spiders uh, washi tape another pocket Look at him. Isn't he neat? Look at there. Isn't that the coolest? Yep. Fits right down. It's a triple tag. Fits right down into that tuck. Then we've got a tag here and cool trim up there with a pumpkin. There we are. A little bit of collage on the back side. 
This is the back side of a, an envelope. So if we flip this over, here is the envelope, and I know there's nothing inside, but with all my journals, I always send um, extra things to play with so you could easily fill that up. More washi tape here on a vintage book page. Some of this just crunchy, crunchy yumminess. Dictionary page. It is a vintage dictionary page. A sticker here with a die cut bat and um, more washi tape. And then we have a journal card here, and this is an envelope. Inside this envelope is a really cute tag. Matching crow uh, matches this, uh, this uh, bank style envelope is what I wanted to call it. And then we have coffee tea dye journaling page with washi tape. A, uh, a favorite of mine right here. Here's a tuck with a tag. A vintage children's book. Um, you may be saying, what is that doing in there? Well, you know what, guys? I looked at this and just thought it was just doubly cute. And so why not? Why not put it in here? It had nothing to do with Halloween, but everything to do with a... Uh, vintage looking Halloween junk journal uh, washi tape there and another one of, one of the triple tags this one I added some labels to skeleton dictionary uh, meaning of skeleton fear and poison not pretty I thought she was beautiful here she is attached using a mini copper paper clip and on the other side, we've got a tag. Just a little label on the back. A cute skeleton. Here is a booklet that is just sitting in there. Closes with a little heart paper clip. And I just used some of the digitals in here. Some more crunchy paper different types of paper. Oh, absolutely a favorite of mine for sure. So thought that was adorable. And she just sits in here like that. Then we have some, um, yes, I always forget what this is, ledger paper. Yes, we do, ledger paper. A uh, die cut of a spider web. A really, really cute tag. Look at that. Sits right in there. And then we have another triple tag set. Great for journaling on. And I did not adhere this one. This one I just went ahead and put in like that so you could move that wherever you wanted coffee filter and some more washi tape and coffee tea dyed paper another tag and the back is um, coffee tea dyed paper and there is another mini paper clip a die cut ghost isn't that cute it is just yeah cute cute overloaded with cuteness um, this is the same center of the signature I used in the last book did not want to cover anything up in love with that page. Two more die cut ghosts. Here is a single tag and on the back there's coffee tea dyed paper. And this, no, it isn't, it's a three. Okay, sorry about that. I thought maybe I had taken one of them apart, but I didn't. There we go, that's another uh, die cut and another triple tag. So she just goes over here like this. And another mini paper clip on there like that. Then we've got uh, the back side of the coffee filter and um, we've got a, this opens up. Okay, let's take this off. 
We want to see it all. Isn't that cool? Isn't she beautiful? I mean, yeah. Oh, look at that red hair. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tag. Red clothespin and some netting. You probably saw us. I'm pretty sure we did that together. Y'all have helped me a lot with this. Another tag on this side. Little label. Cool, cool architecture. And really cool, cool trim. A uh, journal page. The back side of that child's book. Just love that. Love the way it looks with this. Here is one of my favorite spiders. It's a tag. This opens up for more journaling space. And here we've got, I'm pretty sure that's Tim Holt's vintage uh, dictionary page. You can see the patina at the top and a really cute little tag that folds out. It's got a little bit of um, collage on the back. Lots of writing space in here, as you can see. Then, and here you can really see the patina. I'm in love with that effect. Just the crunchiness of that is a favorite of mine. A book page with, it is a vintage book page, washi tape. Just set inside of here is a postcard, a haunted looking postcard. Plain on the back, but isn't that cool? So it just sits right in there like that. And then we have in here just a cute little journal, little white pages, but cute. Fits right in here perfectly. So I just have it so it lays like that. Lays in like that. Then we have more vintage book page. And here is the other side of the recipe book. Love the copper teapot. This is then the end of the first signature. So this sits like this. You flip this over. This is the back. Look at that. Isn't that trim the coolest ever? It's got great texture. And of course, I did not want to cut a pumpkin in half, so you've got a little bit that sits up there at the top. Open this up, and you know me, bag of bones. Oh, yep, you have to have your bag of bones. So, uh, Bone Casket Company, there's a tag. This is from Tim Holtz this year. Then I created a little, um, just a little scrappy thing with a little bit more space to journal on and here is your bag of bones this is a skeleton die cut this is a must-have of mine um, if I am doing a um, Halloween journal you've got to have the bag of bones or it's just not complete without cool digital We've got some more washi tape and um, vintage dictionary page. I did put my, uh, my little pumpkin seal that you've seen me talk about right there. Uh, washi tape here, and then we have, this is also from Tim Holtz's new pack this year. And then I had this vintage um, paper. I don't know where this is from. I want to say Graphic 45. I'm pretty sure it's Graphic 45, but not positive. But you can see these little guys. They're from the Wayback Wind days. I doubt that that is still available. I'm sure you can't find it any longer. And we've got a page that comes out here. So more washi tape. This folds out, and you have a tag here that opens up, and you have casket and burial robes. Isn't that just cool? Yep, the raven. All sorts of little treasures just kind of hidden throughout. And this uh, card here, but I don't think, I don't, pretty sure this doesn't open up. No. Everything shouldn't open up. Everything shouldn't be the same. Cool, cool digital page there. 
another one of the die cut ghosts. Uh, this time we've got witches uh, feet, curled up shoes. This page opens up. Then we've got some of the Tim Holtz. This is a rub on. This is a rub on. He has silhouettes and this is a die cut. Coloring book page. You've heard me talk about this. It is a book that I bought my mother years ago and she only used a couple pages. And so I've been slowly, I've hoarded the book, but I'm slowly putting it out there for anyone that loves to doodle. Um, gelatos, paints, watercolors, water pencils, crayons. It's just something fun to sit and do. Uh, beautiful trim on that page. Love all the glimmer. This is one of my all-time favorite pages that I've done for a uh, Halloween journal. I took this year's paper dolls and put bat wings on them. I just think they're fantastic. The 31 was also in the packet. Uh, Tim Holtz, this is all Tim Holtz, and these uh, dead flowers, these dead roses. And I just think you've got your angel up here and it, it I don't know, this page to me is just, I, I'm in love with it. Pocket here, this is vintage parchment paper. You've got one of my cards that I had picked up years and years ago. When they're gone, they're gone. In love with this set of cards. And then another piece of that vintage, uh, pretty sure it is Graphic 45. You know, you can you can tell Prima the difference between Prima and Graphic 45. And I'm pretty, pretty sure that's a Graphic 45. A little bit more washi tape, great skull digital. Uh, fussy cut him out and put him on there. It is another triple tag and I added the um, little labels just for some color and when you open it up you get a little pop of surprise with that. thought that that was really really cool. So that just sits right down in there. This is the inside of the second signature and also I did not want to cover this up because I just thought yeah I mean what's not to love what is not to love um ledger paper and then once again we've got washi tape and a sticker uh not a sticker but a uh, label and then another label at the top here is another mini envelope this one I did not seal you can seal it if you want. Graphic 45 tag sits in there. You could seal this just by gluing these two sides and folding this up, but it's also a nice place to journal. So I left it. I left it like that. And then you've got these stamps. So, so cool. Yep. Then you have another flippy doo dah here for a little journaling spot if you want. And this is the um, definition of toxic. And there is the front. I put a little rub on there, trick or treat. And you have a uh, bit of washi tape there and a black cat it says trick or treat. So it was only fitting to have a trick or treat rub on there. And the rub on is uh, Tim Holtz. Parchment paper and journal journal envelope and look at this I, we did this together isn't that the coolest tag so if you have been a subscriber or you watch my videos then you probably saw the day that we did this we did three of them i think there's two more coming up then we've got another bank looking envelope with a matching tag and it sits right in here and get this in sits right in there I did not put anything on this because this is vintage parchment paper I did put a skeleton a piece of washi tape there though too cute this pops open beautiful page 
beautiful, beautiful graphic 45. Again, you can tell by the Saturday evening post that that is um, a vintage uh, graphic. And here we have another pretty page that opens up and an empty envelope. Like I said, I um, add enough extras that you can always fill the empty envelopes up. This is the rest of the doodle page. I call it a doodle page. Uh, if you had, uh, I would say green, purple, orange, and black, you could really have a go and a lot of fun there. And then you've got the backside to do whatever you want. Uh, some more washi tape on this page here. And flip this out, you've got another envelope, only there is something inside of this one. This is where I put, this is Tim Holtz from this year. This is where I put this, believe it or not, this is in his Halloween kit. His Halloween, um, oh, he had paper dolls in the, in the number 31 and the bat wings. He was in here with that, and I thought, okay. Not, I wish he was black and white, but he'll do. Washi tape, vintage uh, book page here. Here is another one of those. I believe we did three together. Here is the second one. Has a uh, butterfly sticker. Pocket there with uh, Happy Halloween washi tape. Graphic 45 digital. And this is also graphic 45. You can see this is loaded, this journal. Lots going on, lots to have fun with. Look at how beautiful. This, I believe, is this is our last page, and here's our last tag. Remember when we added this? It just kind of, uh, these flowers in this label was from this year's Tim Holtz. And this just kind of gave these flowers an eerie feeling. Just kind of, <gasps> just spooky. Just a spooky, eerie feeling. And then we are back to the beginning. So this is the Halloween journal. If you are seeing this, this is in my shop. Let's see if we can get this on and bring on the Christmas Waterfall Journal, which we had a lot of fun making together. Absolutely a joy. I no longer can say I have a favorite um, style of journal because I am in love with the flip-flop journal and absolutely in love with the waterfall. So, in my shop, guys, and then we have this one. Look at her. Look at that. Santas are on the Jingle Bells. Aren't those so cute? Then I got into some beads. I haven't, I didn't bring the beads out from my mother last year. Um, these snowflakes, they are from my mother's stash. The other beads are from mine. Um, there are a couple green and red beads in here from my mother's stash, but the snowflakes are my mom's. And they make this book, don't you think? I mean, they're just perfect together. So this book measures six inches high by about, well, she is a chunker, like all my journals, about eight and a half. So six by eight and a half, I did put a uh, chipboard, three-dimensional Santa on the cover, and just think, he's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This journal is, uh, I have to say, one of my all-time favorites. Love, love this journal. Let me grab a sip of water. And let's get to the first page. So you'll remember we did this together. I did add a uh, 
chipboard snowflake down here with a little poinsettia with a little bit of gold in the center. And we have this tag here, a little collage with scraps. Isn't that so cute? Pretty sure we did this together. We did most of this book together. Because of time restraints, there's only a few elements in here that were off camera. Green doily. Uh, everything's got washi tape. So washi tape here um, and here as well. And then I used a sticker here. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Paper was given to me by, I believe, Gigi Hanna and Beverly Nielsen. So um, these papers, I'm just going to put it out there so that it'll save you time asking me. Pretty sure I was told. Gigi said she got hers at Michael's. So they're recollect recollections. And they were a paper pack. So be on the lookout. She said she's had them for a while, but the papers in this, are, they're over the top. They're so beautiful. Then we have a little bit of Tim Holtz here in this tag and in this one here. A Merry Christmas with a to and a from. This is, a, both of these are Tim Holtz. This little truck pocket is actually a gift tag and it is from Hobby Lobby from last year or the year before. Then we have a pocket up here. Digitals I think are from Polka Art Studios on Etsy and trims that I used are from Junkin, Junkin Journal Sisters I think. Pretty sure that's right. And then look at the back. We did some um, collage work here. Stickers like this throughout this journal. I've had there from Hobby Lobby and I've had them for years. So be on the lookout if you love those. Uh, truck washi tape. You don't get cuter than that. I believe all the washi tape in this journal is Hobby Lobby from uh, years gone by. So be on the lookout for that. White doily. A pocket with, oh, isn't it cute? Look at that. Look at that. So this is Tim Holtz. This is um, Scrap. Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. This is Hobby Lobby, and this is Tim Holtz. So I want to try to let you know so that if you're going on a hunt, you'll know where to go to look, not to waste your time. Um, washi tape here. Beautiful, beautiful digital. This is uh, Artie Mays. Okay, and um, this was a doily. I don't know where I got the doily. The poinsettias all come from their stickers. They, uh, they're three-dimensional stickers, but they all come from Hobby Lobby. Love this. I want to, I don't know where I got this. I think from Dana. I think this is one of the things that she was giving away. Why do I like this? Well, if you're a doodler, sit down and have fun. Get out your gelatos. Get out your colored pencils, your watercolors, your crayons, whatever, your inks, whatever, and just have some fun. Make that yours. Washi tape. Here is one of those stickers I was talking about. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure, from a Partridge in a Pear Tree kit. I don't know if that is still available. I think that's Graphic 45, I think. Here is a, a really, really cute tag. Bo is uh, last year, if you remember, when I did the advent calendars with the little drawers. I got uh, a lot of stuff from Hobby Lobby. So those are from Hobby Lobby. I, uh, If you watched me, we had a conversation about should we cut these off, and I decided, eh, usually I do, but I didn't want to. I wanted them to all be like this, so I left them. And then look at what we've got there. We have a little graphic 45, and we have a fussy cut old, old time Santa there. So isn't that cute? You turn that over and that's what you see. Adorable. This journal is just adorable. Glitter, of course. 
You have to have some glitter. Okay, this one I did cut, and see how this, this opens up this way, but I did not want the tag shape on the one, the previous one, so there we go. Some more decals, just a really, really cute. I put a fussy cut bird there with some winter berries, and that fits right in there. Then here we have a fussy cut here on a, a Christmas bingo tag. And when you flip this open, you have two Tim Holtz tags right there. And you get wished a Merry Christmas. Gold um, washi tape. Turn the page. You've got Santa and his coat washi tape. There are two tags here, this one and this one. A, a cute fussy cut uh, snowman. I just added this because I had it and I thought, why not? It is beautiful, so it should be in here. And then this, this uh, tag here with book page on the back and glitter. I, uh, for some reason, my printer had cut these off but I thought this is still so cute why waste it there was no reason to waste it so it's in here pocket here but this okay I'm gonna have to take this off come back to fixing that this opens up as you can see and there is a booklet um, it's all coffee tea dyed paper. What I did is I used my scraps, but it's a cute little booklet to um, go ahead and journal in or add whatever you might want. So that, you don't have to have the paper clip. This will stay closed, but it's just nice. And then you've got a cute tag. And I did not glitter this. Um, he's short. It's a short tag, so I just left it. Uh, I didn't know what the glitter would do in and out of the pocket. Snowman washi tape. Beautiful graphic 45 and a label. And then I put a large label of Santa and the reindeer on the back. Thought this page is just so, so pretty. Put a piece label up there. And then I had this Prima tag, and I didn't do anything to it. There was nothing here I wanted to cover up, and I just thought, this is so pretty. I didn't want to add anything to that either, so I left it. But then on this tag, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's Artie Mays. And this was several years ago. My printer, you can see some, like, light red lines but it doesn't take away from the image so I used it and I had puppy sticker of hot chocolate with marshmallows candy canes and I put I added actually this was three pieces this was a separate piece this candy cane and so was this holly with the two little berries and I put them all together and thought that that made the cutest tag look at that and then some of the netting with the gold. Love that. Did not want to touch this page. When we went through this together, I said this over and over and over again. I did not want to touch this page because no matter what I did to it, it was going to cover something up. And this paper is so beautiful. Uh, I just added the piece label at the top. So you turn this over and we have a pocket here. And I added a poinsettia flower up there. And you've got this really pretty bird. Then we have this tag here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ribbon is perfect. Lots of nouveau glaze. And I just thought that made the perfect little tag. And then we did this one, I believe. We did this together. I did not. There's another, there's a pocket in here with this image that was a uh, fussy cut it and we did put glitter on the gifts we did not put glitter on these gifts then on the back cute cute label not adorable and lined paper and then we used a um, tab from miss beverly 
pretty, pretty washi tape on that page. Here is your center washi tape. You can see here I had an issue with the washi tape and I thought about taking it off. I'm pointing it out because you can see it. It doesn't bother me at all. As a matter of fact, I like it and I can't tell you why. So I went back and I, and I just kind of put the two washies together the best I could, but I'm like, this kind of is like to me, hey, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm trying to be, but I'm not. And that's okay. Beautiful, beautiful uh, corner pocket here with a label in here. We did do that together. This is a pre-made tag but really, really pretty. Fits in this journal well. And then this cutie patootie. I put a little bit of glitter on him. Isn't he so cute? It's like he was, he is a fussy cut uh, penguin and was just made for the backdrop of that paper. Here is the backside. Maybe you want a little something to munch on at night. And uh, we did this on camera. The, these buttons are from Hobby Lobby and they're in their Christmas section. And I just clipped the button hook off and we attached him. So really, really cute, really cute. It's a good thing there's no more pages than there are in this book or it would be insane. Okay, three little kids here out getting their Christmas tree. Um, on top of some beautiful holly paper and here is another prima pre-made tag Just cute. Look at that. Perfect candy cane backdrop And here is a cute cute cupcake tag. This is the back We've got a Santa here and um, It looks like a an ice cream sundae uh, this trim also Hobby Lobby and then I added a Merry Christmas tag. Somebody sent me these tags. I apologize. I don't know who they were because I had unpacked them. I think it was last year and um, or it could have been the year before and put them in a container. So I apologize if you are watching and you know that that was from me. Um, I appreciate it so much. Another book page here I wouldn't touch. Okay, this page here, the other half of that gold doily. And then in here, I'm pretty sure we did this together. Merry Christmas. We have another Prima tag here. That is the back. So cute. Another pre-made tag here. And then another Prima tag here and what we did is we I'm pretty sure we did this together added this chipboard um, snowflake and these snowflakes are also from Hobby Lobby these buttons are also from Hobby Lobby and uh, we just put some of the red and white Baker's twine in there so got lucky that fits there perfectly and then wanted to add these cute, cute tags. And this is the page where we created a large pocket with Graphic 45. And in here is just a really cute little journal with leftover pages. Remember this one is very vintage and wants to it says I am praying for you um, wants to kind of come apart and that's why we added that washi right there so some of you may be saying what do you do with things like this you know what do you what do you use these little books for well I would say to you that you could come in here and if you're not going to use a book as is because you can add pages to this just using washi you could add uh, pages onto here and adhere them with a piece of washi tape or a piece of masking tape or a piece of scotch tape whatever if you didn't want to use this like that then what you could do is come in here and rip 
pages out and use them in something else that you're creating. Um, if you wanted this as a backdrop or whatever, just come in and use these as extra little scraps for your own projects. So that is one way to use up little books like that that come in journals or that creators create and send to you. Um, this page, I did not want to cover this page up. This is a page from Artie Mays. Uh, I love this page, love this right here, love this uh, Christmas story, and didn't want to put a pocket or anything over it. Added this tag, and on the back of this tag is, I think on here I put tissue paper, and I did. Isn't that so cool? And it feels really cool, and then glitter here. So you've got a tag, and on the other side, we have glitter on Santa's beard, and I fussy cutted this out, this page, this little pocket here, and then you've got two of the tags from Prima. I just felt that these tags worked perfectly in here, and so that's what I did. That's what I added. Fussy cut um, deer here with Nouveau Glaze on him. And this little sleigh is a die cut. Oh, not fussy cut. This is a die cut. This is a die cut. This is a large poinsettia from Hobby Lobby. And then we've got all these little tags in here. All these little tags to play with. Do what you want. You could take them out individually, poke a little hole in them, use them as gift tags, whatever. This side here, I know I did this off camera. This went with the other one that you saw, the other hot chocolate baby. It's cold outside with your little mini marshmallows up there. And then I went ahead and I added another Prima tag. Here we've got a belly band. And then I've got some Spode Christmas cards and just thought perfect absolutely perfect for this journal perfect in every way perfect in its size and its color uh, the back end of the doily this is what we created for merry monday yesterday oh, isn't it beautiful isn't it just and this music paper is themed for christmas isn't it just beautiful? And here's one of the tags we made. Just really, really pretty. So these are, for the most part, just kind of filling in some space. Don't know that the journal really needed them, but I thought, why not? They're so cute. So cute. Just one more element. The same with this one here. We did this one yesterday on this gorgeous page here. This is a Christmas tree where I was mentioning we went ahead and glittered the gifts. That's the back. And then you've got this trim. And here is, this is one of those uh, pages from um, Michael's. I am hoping, hoping I can find that paper this year. So we'll see. Keeping my fingers crossed that I can find that paper. And this one here, love this whole layout there. And so grabbed a Prima tag because I really, really like the gold. Did not want to cover it up. It is an upside pocket. And here is a little store-bought tag. I did add uh, scrapbook paper to the back. Isn't that pretty? Colors match. And then I took Nouveau Glaze and, and did the uh, front. So you have just a little pop, and I think it looks so pretty together. Then on the back, here is a, uh, another side of the green doily. On the back, we have this tag right here. I did the same thing with the Nouveau Glaze. And then I added the, um, 
the netting with the gold and this will kind of rub off you can kind of see it I don't mind it at all as a matter of fact I love it Hobby Lobby sorry guys but yeah Hobby Lobby off uh, years and years ago so again another really really sweet little mini journal and the same thing you can add to this you can take from it or you can let it be and just enjoy it what I did this is vintage paper I just took my scraps I didn't want to waste them this is upside down which I have to laugh at don't know what I was thinking that whole page is upside down that's so funny but it's okay because I look at it and I think well it's unique isn't it this is vintage you can see the patina I did not put that on and I think it's Italian is it English no I think it's Italian coffee dyed papers this is English from a, from a dictionary pattern paper this folds out so guys this is this charming uh, washi tape on the front and the back of this this is just the most charming little Christmas journal I uh, I don't know sometimes I think Charlotte keep your work just keep your work and then I'm like what am I gonna do with it all but this if I was ever gonna keep my work I would keep this um, I know that we created the waterfall journal with the exact same papers twice this is the first one we made I know we're, go we're going to make another one but um, yeah it is it, just so cute so guys that is my video today Stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow's all about the giveaway and what I'm giving away. And it is my first uh, digital project for Angel Dream Crafts Cam on Etsy for the month of September. So I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.